saying what happened here. I mean, what a turnaround. I, I never expected a, something like that, especially with what Veily had going on there. I mean, the, the Immortal dropped to take out the tanks, but it was it came down to those two AMPs laid down by the Ghosts. I mean, they make the Immortals virtually useless. A wise StarCraft player once told me, you know what makes a StarCraft game? It's the special units. And he's absolutely right, it really does. But that was back in the StarCraft 1 days, where it was, you know, a Defiler or a High Templar or something that could make the difference. Now you've got all sorts of things. Um, you know, but those Ghosts, for example, those special units, really did make that game right there. Uh, without those yeah. EMPs, everything would have gone very differently. But two absolutely. little EMPs... Removing those pesky shields from those immortals, that was it, man. It was over. So let's see if switching to immortals is going to make any difference at all. Not researching the thermal lances. Uh, you mean the colossi? What did I say? Immortals. Damn it! I made the same mistake you did in the first game. Sorry about that. It's you threw me off. That's what it is. You drained my my IQ. But anyway, um, oh. nice little EMP for some reason. D you didn't see. You don't know this, I guess. Uh, when you see the the blur thing of a of a cloaked unit, you could EMP it, and it it stop it stops its cloaking device momentarily, and you could just snipe it out. What? Yeah. That's OP. OP. I don't like it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> like Nicholas Cage would say, you know, to like making the sorcerer's apprentice, huge mistake. But I bet when his agent came up and said, hey, you know, there's this great movie that Disney wants you to do. I love it. But it's not really good. Are you sure you <laughs> want to do it? No, I love it. <laughs> you know what? I kind of liked it, man. Um, I'll also oh, you tell you it? what I loved is, uh, is this move out with Marines, a couple of Marauders uh, with no slow, and some siege tanks. A couple of ghosts mixed in there for good measure. Is <sighs> oh, this the this FDW? Could be, this could well be, unless he gets some, uh, some good force fields going on to block out the, the, his infantry there. But I think that with some good EMPs, they're going to be energyless. And he's trying to, he's trying to lure like, them out. I oh, like how he's play. luring them out. He's coaxing them out. He's tickling them. He's like, hey, guys, why don't oh, you come yeah. over here? We've got, we've, got, we've got drinks and ladies. <laughs> we've got some cream pies. Yeah. Oh, he's laying down some cream pies now with uh, those siege tanks, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just just tickles them a bit. And oh, oh wow. great EMPs. Move, move. There you go. Oh, that, that was silly. He's going to take out those tanks, and that's definitely going to force uh, Alpha. Holy to... moly, he wow. used stim. I, I do not believe my eyes. I don't. I just don't. That was a great stim, actually. <laughs> it, was, it was very well timed and uh, utilized as well. Um, come on, just leapfrog those tanks. You've got this. Did you see that the positioning of uh, the five tanks? He had three in the back, uh, just within range of those two other tanks, so that when they were taken out, he would build the confidence because he didn't know how many tanks uh, Alpha had. So he's like, oh, I got the two tanks. Now let's go in for the infantry. And Wrong. There are three more tanks covering my ass. <laughs> That's right. That was actually a good move, whether it was intentional or not. It, it did work out. Um, Probably okay. not intentional. Well, you know, whatever. Maybe Alpha's, uh, you know, getting a little bit better, starting to think a little bit more about the future rather than the immediate, uh, what am I going to do here? Those, those Colossus, though, man, making mincemeat of those, uh, of those ground forces. But uh, you bet. it looks like he might just have an edge here. Let's see if he capitalizes. Oh, it's a good thing that these Zealots are out there because they they get the splash damage from the tanks onto what they're bashing against, uh, which are the Marines and Marauders. But that could be avoided easily if you used stim and scoot and shoot. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I, mean, I just uh, think he's not used to using stim and then scooting and shooting because he, he so rarely gets stim that I, don't, I just don't think it factors into his game plan. Um, but I think a couple more games, man, he's going to figure this out and he's going he's gonna to really know how to, how to do that stuff. Yeah. Oh, he's reinforcing here with a Thor. Now, this is definitely going to just push his... Oh, whoa. Uh, I just got to keep remembering I'm broadcasting on YouTube here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, keep that in mind this... if you wouldn't, if you don't mind too much. Okay, thanks. Yep. Appreciate that. He's he's gonna snipe out this Thor nice and easy. Yeah, there, there, there it goes, and now he can actually Thor take out, out those tanks with ease. Yeah, those tanks are gone, but he shouldn't have left his Thor just sitting out there. Probably should have waited a little bit until he had a little more, uh, you know, stuff out there on the field. Uh, Elf, <laughs> that is. But um, I gotta say, uh, I just lost my mouse again. I don't know why. And, really? uh, and so I'm just going to have to keyboard the rest of this. I apologize. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> you, you see the, the, the little wink emoticon that Bailey put up there. That uh, He's getting a little cocky there 
at first he was like FFS, but now ha ha, I repelled everything you threw at me. <laughs> Getting well, a little bit of confidence back. Yeah, he needs that confidence. He needs a little bit of that cockiness because uh, poor guy, you know, he he wasn't he wasn't looking too good at the beginning there. And those last three matches against Keepy have hurt no. his ego slightly. So he needs this. And uh, you know what? I'll allow it. Normally I'd say O B M B M, but no, no, yeah. I think it's okay. It's warranted here. Yeah, it's okay. What he does need, however, is uh, an expansion, and he's doing just that at the right position. I hope that uh, Alpha Alpha does not spot this out. He won't, because this is kind of a sneaky expansion. It's it's cross positions, and uh, yeah, he's in desperate need of an expansion because just having one saturated natural definitely won't be able to reinforce anything. Oh, he's going for Dark Shrine now. Let's see how he does with that. You know, I think that might actually work out pretty decently. Um, you know, as long as he as long as he sees that Alpha keeps wasting those scans on just checking out his his army and such, uh, those Dark Templar might really make a big difference here. Uh, yeah. But got to look over at Alpha's Thors there. He's got quite a few. Is that me? No, that's Alpha using his age-old um, and very effective lag tactic. Not sure. effective in this case, though. Um, well, no, because he wasn't attacking, he was just prep prepping it, I think. You know, he's just getting it uh, ready to use, to lag right in the middle of a big thing. Throw his opponent off as he does. Yeah. Uh, scanning for an observer, I'd say that might be a bit of a waste, because really, what's he going to protect there? <laughs> you know? Well, that's true, yeah, There's yeah, I agree. There's a bunch I of agree. toys on the field, everyone knows that. You know, it's a big deal. I, I can't blame him to in doing that because now he's moving out with a command center he's he's in desperate need of an expansion for sure and he's actually going to be ballsy here and he's going to go for the gold he's got to lay down a planetary fortress to make sure that that doesn't get taken out so easily of course planetary fortress right there is actually a very very good idea i mean uh, planetary fortress right in the middle of a map anywhere you know surrounded uh -oh. by a couple of supportive units very good idea right now i actually think he has enough in the in the tank there <sighs> to to make a great push let's see if he uh if he capitalizes on it focus those colossi i wish all I could these colossi it. are not in great positions they're going to be taken out in seconds but look at the the, the dark templar alpha has used up most of his uh, scans in just uh just scanning out the area before he engaged it but now the these these dark templar are just Going right into the Thors. Oh, oh man. man, they're and they're Alpha, cleaning right you know up. What Alpha hasn't realized that there's Tark Templar there. Uh, otherwise, he no, would have he used has. that he scan on his army. No, he didn't. He scanned the top of the ramp to see if he could move up. He, I don't. He hasn't realized that the DTs are there. I'm sure he realizes it now, and he must be thinking, "Crap, should have used that scan on my army, not at the top of the ramp." Well, here's some bad news. Whatever. Uh, he's he lost out his natural there. That oof. In this position, I'm getting a bit of lag here. Are you okay? Um, I seem to be sort of okay. He's using those strike cannons to great effect. Oh, look at that nexus. He's going for the nexus. <laughs> oh, that, that nexus is not going to be very happy. I have to say, though, kind of a waste to hit that nexus. Finally got that scan down. Um, yeah, this this might be it for Veili. Poor guy. Taking out that dark uh, Templar shrine. Excellent idea. But not before one more dark Templar comes out. Um, oh, here he comes. But you know what? I wouldn't have attacked that nexus. It's not exactly like that nexus was useful in any way shape or form um, maybe maybe you should retreat alpha because that dark templar is kind of killing you now he's trying to take out uh, his tech structures there which is essential because Aveli does have an expansion out there alpha doesn't know about it and uh, I bet he's under the impression that he just had the, his natural but now that he hasn't GG'd out yet, I'm sure that he's going to start scouting out and saying, hey, wait a second, this can't be over. He would have GG'd by now. Yeah, also, I, I think it's common practice to throw down a planetary fortress and stick up one or two uh, missile turrets next to it. Um, but Alpha didn't do either of these things, so that's... Uh, that. Well, that's his gold all, all the way gone, so goodbye to that. Um, well, he's still got his uh, floating command center there. Can't be taken out because he doesn't have any anti-air. No, that's true, but what I mean is that normally when you put down a planetary fortress, thro you throw down a couple of missile turrets and you're covered. You know, ground, air, you're just covered. Invisible, yeah. sure, okay, I can take invisibles. Um, but you know what? He didn't do either of those. Uh, I yeah. understand he was kind of busy with that push and whatnot, but come on, man, just uh, hitting the F or P or whatever it is to transform it into a planetary fortress. Come on. There yeah. it goes. <laughs> Well, the SCV is out there. He's going to scout out the base in just a few seconds. I'd say about 15 seconds. He's going to find that he's in that third ex uh, that ninja expansion. And he's just going to send all of his doors over there and end the game. 
Oh my, is this planetary fortress gonna go up in time? No, ah. he cancels <laughs> it and lifts it. But now there's a stalker there to bother the crap out of him. Okay, now obviously Alpha's found Veili's sneaky little ninja expansion, in which there are like, I don't know, five, six probes just sitting around doing nothing. Um, Miss Rally, I think. Possibly, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but Veili's still reinforcing, um, you know, keeping the pressure on, and Alpha here is, you know, he's got, I don't know, what's that, like, a thousand SCVs on two mineral patches? Yeah, this is why he's unable to exactly reinforce. Look at his income, it's just terrible. It's 200, no, you know what, it's zero now, so uh, this is this is uh, all he can use right now to take out Veili. I, I think it's definitely superior to his army, but if Veili could somehow keep that expansion going for a little while, he can maybe reinforce and uh, overtake Alpha in the, the economy. Who knows? I don't know. This is anyone's game right now because Veili is keeping on top of this expansion which uh, Alpha so desperately needs. And Alpha is just kind of running around trying to, you know, get something done. Deciding to, instead of protecting his base and getting some minerals, deciding rather just to go into Veili's base and uh, trying to wrap this up. Um, Definitely the right choice. I, I, I was just about to say, you know what? I think it might actually be the right choice. Yeah. Uh, well, in the meantime, Veili could go and have himself a little base race over there in Alpha's base. Uh, oh I, I God, think don't that even say that to me. I hate base races, man. Oh, but it's so them. exciting. They're not exciting in the slightest. They're just stupid. God. You know, but here he is uh, cleaning out Veili's um, pr production uh, structures, so that oh, pretty much wraps it choice. up. It's the wrong choice, I think, because... All these Thors are really going to make mincemeat out of that army. And there is an, uh, a raven in there to spot any DTs. Uh, oof. The getting Thors kind of tight are... now, but they're going to win it. They're going to win it. The Thors and yeah. the Marines. They, they've got this in the bag. GG. And he's out of here. That was kind of tight, really. Oh, my. Oh, me. Yeah, blow oh my. after blow. Jesus. Good game. That's all I can say about that. Good game. No real mistakes from either side. Just, uh, just a good old-fashioned GG. Uh, I'm not I... sure. I think they all could have expanded at one point, given the the, the positions that they spawned. They, they, Veli could have definitely expanded much earlier to that ninja expansion, and taken advantage of the fact that Alpha didn't seem like he was intending on getting a third base anytime soon. Only towards the end there, going for the gold. Yeah, I think Alpha thinks too much in the present and not so much about, you know, even the immediate future. He just says, this is what I'm doing now and this is what's going to happen. He's not thinking, hold on a second, maybe I should do the following to get me ready for five minutes from now. Um, but, you know, Alpha's learning, he's getting better. And uh, I have to say, uh, the, though Veili did say over there, I, I noticed in the, in the chat window, uh, what an awful <laughs> game. Uh, I would have to say that it was not awful, it was actually good. They both played very well. Uh, it was a, a forwards and backwards battle between both of them. It was actually quite exciting, kind of liked it. I enjoyed it too. Alright, so I guess uh, we'll wrap it up there, and uh, I'll see about getting these on YouTube. Alright, <laughs> till next time.